fiery crashes, stolen vehicles, injuries, death. There's a better way to catch criminals who are dangerously speeding on public streets and through populated neighborhoods. It's by not pursuing them. Introducing Star Chase, the real-time tagging and tracking technology that removes the pursuit from the street safely into the hands of dispatch. This pursuit management system is the newest development in the effort to deploy new technologies that allow officers to work smarter. A leader in this movement is the LAPD, which has formed a new technical technology unit to test the latest in crime-fighting tools. The city of Los Angeles is approximately 465 square miles. And there's approximately 9,400 officers to patrol that area. By bringing technology to the police department, that allows us to use it as a force multiplier, making the officers we have in the field more efficient, safer, and can serve the community better with the technologies and the equipment that we give them. They are leading this effort with their new smart car. The smart car combines several new technologies. One of the technologies is the automatic license plate recognition system located on top of the vehicle. That scans every license plate that passes by the vehicle and checks it against a database within the car. For instance, we could see if a car was stolen, wanted, or part of an Amber Alert. The car introduces new wireless technology. It works similar to laptops on your standard wireless technology. We use a secure frequency for public safety only. The car has fingerprint readers inside the car that the officer can take out, and in certain scenarios, they would be able to scan the person's fingerprint and decide if they were wanted or not. We have a facial recognition device that works very similar to that, but it scans the person's face and also compares it to a database. The next generation smart car will feature the Star Chase Pursuit Management System. This system allows the officer, while engaged in a pursuit, to deploy a GPS tracking system that could adhere to the vehicle and then instantly send satellite information in terms of positioning and then allow the officer to slow down, get farther away from the pursuit, and track the pursuit until we can bring it to a successful conclusion. Here's how it works. The officer will target the suspect vehicle with a laser pointer using a backlit control panel. The system can also be deployed remotely. The dual barrel launcher uses compressed air for less than lethal operation and the rugged launcher fits behind the grill of the police cruiser. The projectile, containing a GPS receiver, wireless transmitter and battery, sticks to the target vehicle using an aggressive adhesive. It starts transmitting GPS position coordinates to a computer server. The high-speed chase strategy has now been replaced with an interdiction strategy as the data is delivered via a secure internet portal to the dispatch center where it is displayed with digital roadmaps. Historical data is recorded for debriefing after the event and to provide court admissible evidence. Star Chase will conduct field tests with the LAPD and the Florida Highway Patrol. Following these tests, the technology will become commercially available to law enforcement agencies. As we prove the technology, what we hope is to get the systems out into the field and into the officer's hands where we can be effective and efficient immediately. It's easy to see why Sergeant Gomez thinks this is the beginning of a new era in policing. I can envision a day when a young officer later in my career comes to me and asks how I was able to do police work without all this technology. Similarly, when I first came on the job and I met senior officers and I asked them how they were able to do police work without a handheld radio. All this technology combined really is the next generation in policing. To learn more about this exciting crime fighting tool, go to StarChase.org. Now that's smart. StarChase. The pursuit ends here.